Hey everybody, Jeff here with PM. Today we're going to talk about our SL850 product. This is a ponding eliminator product. It is a trowel grade silicone product that has a small aggregate in it. This stuff performs just like wet concrete. If you have low spots, mod bit, TPO, EPDM, this can raise those areas and eliminate some of that ponding water. So this product originally was designed as a filler for blisters on foam. What we would do there is we would cut back that blister to adhesion, leaving a slight bevel, and then we trowel this stuff in, like I said, just like wet concrete. Once that blister is filled up and cured, you would top it with our PM HS 3200 series. Since then, what we found is that we can use it in low spots on Modbit, TPO, EPDM, wherever. Today we're going to show you an example of filling in a low spot on a granulated cap sheet. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you open the bucket is put your trowel or your putty knife, whatever you choose to use. I really like these small trowels for this product. Stick it in there. You may need to do a little mixing. This product, this bucket is really, really new. So as you can see, it doesn't really require any mixing. This is what we want the product to look like. Now that your bucket's all mixed and you're ready to go, we're going to give you a, a little example of what it's like to fill a low spot on a mod bit roof. So all we're going to do is we're just going to scoop the product out and like I said before, it really performs just like wet concrete. So we're going to scoop it out and we're going to start to trial it out and fill all of those low areas. This product can be put down at about an inch and a half to two inches thick and it will cure. The thing really to be aware of is the cure time. Before you can top coat this, it needs to be cured all the way through. So I would allow on average about 48 to 72 hours with you know average humidity, stuff like that. If you're down in Phoenix or other really dry climates, we're gonna to need to let it cure for probably three to four days before we can top coat it. If you top coat it before it is cured, it'll give kind of a wrinkled look in that area. Won't affect performance in any way, shape, or form, but it'll just look really funky and we all know what it's like whenever a roof looks funky. We wanna avoid those phone calls and those questions on what happened to the roof. So once you get your low spot filled in, what we're gonna do is just kind of feather out those edges to smooth it out as best we can. Now as it cures, it'll really start to grab hold to that substrate. And of course you can work it as much as you need to or as little as you need to to get a nice smooth finish on that substrate. So when you're done, it should look something like this. Now your low spot is raised, the ponding is gone, you can move along with your job and get the top coating done. Now that we've shown you how to apply the SL850, this is a sample of a cured finished section with cross sections cut out so you can see everything. So this is a granulated cap sheet with our bleed block primer applied. This is our SL850 and then our HS3200 series top coat. This is what it'll look like whenever everything's all finished and cured. For more information on this product, click on the QR code to reach out to your regional manager for information on pricing, availability, and as always, make sure and like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.